You want to know what I like about, like, when you dig into the lore and, like, how the world is and, like, you know, to the level of how fucked the world is? Um, uh -huh. Elden Ring is a inherently more hopeful game than Dark Souls is. Like, by the time Dark Souls 3 comes around, um, like, shit's fucked. Like, I, like, oh, yeah, like, no, sure. like, e even if the Age of Dark does come to fruition, there is still, like, a unconscious, unconscionably small chance that, like, it'll actually have anything good happen, right? And, you know, but in Elden Ring, you know, there is hope. You know, Mel Melina says it herself, that, like, this world is needing death indiscriminate. You know, things are stagnant, but people prevail. Babies are born. Yeah. Things persist. You know, you know, that, that, yeah, that is... There's a lot that, more hope. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of hope. Like, there's, there's inklings of, like, the possibility of a functioning, like, society and state. There's... I think that's part of the reason why, like, I jive with the lore of Elden Ring so much more. It's not just that it was my first one, like, first FromSoft game, but I think it's just... I am inherent... I generally am a hopeful-leaning person. Hi, fucker. And, uh, at least for me, you know, a part of me feels like, you know, shit's fucked, but it's only fucked because, you know, people, like, aren't, weren't doing what they should, and, and people can choose to be better. I don't know. I like it a lot, in that way. No, There's a boss down here, by the way. I thought it was just gonna be like a cave. Again? The fucker got me again? You know what? Fuck hope. I'm embracing dialogue. This, you? Shit, this shit can go fuck himself. I don't give a damn anymore. <laughs>